12.30 to, uh, to begin the, uh, the program. Um, on behalf of uh, CED's trustees and our staff, I want to welcome you to our post-secondary education summit entitled Business Leadership for 21st Century Education Policies. And we're honored to have all of you here. I think we have a, uh, an interesting and stimulating program, but just uh, let me make a, a few comments about uh, how CED came to be involved in, in post-secondary education. And as I said this morning at our breakfast with, uh, with um, Professor Richard Aram, who has written the book um, called Academically Adrift, um, this is the first time, I think, in CED's uh, almost 70-year history that we have been engaged uh, substantially and uh, significantly in all aspects of education reform across the continuum, looking at the early years, um, significant activities in, uh, in K-12 reform, looking at, at, at teacher uh, uh, recruitment and retention, and now uh, completing the continuum or the major project on post-secondary education, which is co-chaired by uh, Jeff Jarris, uh, the CEO of Manpower Group, and also Bruce McClowry, the uh, President Emeritus of the, uh, the Brookings Institution in Washington. Uh, late last year, CED received a, a very generous grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which has en enabled us to focus on issues of both completion and attainment with an eye towards trying to identify reforms that will focus on innovation, productivity, and quality in an effort to reform our post-secondary education system. We feel it is needed uh, for several reasons. There are growing concerns about the quality of our post-secondary education sector, reports indicating that the completion rates, the attainment rates, uh, aren't what they were 30 or 40 years ago. We have fewer people in our society with the level of post-secondary skills that they're going to need if we are going to be competitive in a 21st century workforce, a globalized uh, workforce. And then also there are the issues about uh, having uh, competent citizens who can function effectively in, uh, in our democracy. But to be quite uh, candid here, one of the concerns that has driven us is the cost of post-secondary -second education. And I said this morning, if you go to West 44th Street, in the corner of 44th and I think it's 6th Avenue here in New York, on one of the buildings you'll see a big uh, sign that changes every second. It records the national debt of the United States and it, as we know, is going, going up uh, significantly. And only last week, uh, watching CNBC, I saw for the first time a comparable debt clock for student loan debt, which now is approaching $1 trillion. And as the Federal Reserve uh, reported last week, picked up in the Gail Collins op-ed in the New York Times, credit card debt is now second. Uh, it's student loan debt that is first in the country. And that raises some questions about the cost of uh, post-secondary education. What are the, what's the education that those students are or are not getting for what they're paying and the debts that they're incurring? And so looking at issues of cost and competition and technology, CED has created a, the subcommittee that I mentioned. We're very pleased to have Pat Callan, uh, who will be with us this afternoon as the uh, project director uh, for CED. So uh, that's what brings us here together. Uh, we are grateful, Hillary, to, uh, to you and your colleagues at the, uh, the Gates Foundation. I'll, I'll talk a little more about that when I introduce you. But this is really a, a labor of love for, uh, for CED. So for all of you who are with us this afternoon, thank you very much. We hope that you will find this to be an engaging discussion that you will also uh, participate as well. So welcome, enjoy your lunch. Thank you.